Spoon's actual main. I remember, I think. Um, but yeah. Um, ooh, and it's the yellow plant too, my favorite. Um, but this is definitely going to be a very interesting matchup. Um, specific considering like how strong Patui is, because Patui is really strong, <laughs> as we've definitely said before. This, 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 this move is probably going to be the one thing that kind of forces Pac-Man to kind of step out of their comfort zone. Um, this is definitely not Sechi, but, um, you know, Kujo definitely can kind of prove that they can either, um, be a killer or just, um, prove how much, you know, they can kind of bring to, um, this character in general and whatnot. Well, I'm just surprised that Blue Hill Main is a lower tier character than he already had. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, so far, uh, you know, find one. Minus Kujo has been doing a pretty good job, you know, keeping the pressure on Pac-Man, but, you know, right now Kujo is actually getting the better of Minus Kujo when it comes to out of show up. Um, you might lose uh, mm. Very nice jump there coming in from Kujo, because that could have spelled a very bad, um, you know, option coming in there. Mm. And see, yep, just kind of destroying a Hydrant right there. That's kind of the only thing that um, um, Piranha Plant actually needs to do in order to kind of just like take care of this matchup, honestly. Yeah, it's pretty good hydrant. Mm -hmm. And definitely being, I haven't watched too many other Pac Mans other than Sinji, so I'm not entirely sure of what an aggressive Pac Man player looks like. I definitely remember seeing Kiwi, um, Kiwi from, I think, Connecticut. If I but she is definitely another Pac-Man that doesn't have, you know, the same playstyle, but definitely um, similar asking in how the way they both play. Um, yeah, definitely. I, I, I've seen a uh, aggressive Pac-Man when it comes to throwing out aerials, because Pac-Man has pretty good cool aerials. Um, mm -hmm. It's just, you know, you know, honestly, Pac-Man can play aggressive. You know, Pac-Man actually does have options to play somewhat aggressive. But I feel like Pac-Man, in the optimal sense, I feel like a slower approach. Not just, you know, it's a very slow approach, but a slower approach. Um, especially when it comes to setting up Pac-Man traps, you know, uh, hydrant stuff, fruit stuff, I feel like it definitely lends itself better than the other options for Pac-Man. Yeah. Definitely very, um... Ooh, gonna get hit by that key. Is this? Okay. Um, so, I kind of got lost track of the time because I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> you know, what game are we in? Um, but, you know, Kucho living at 182, this is definitely some, like, interesting gameplay coming in right there. But, um, yeah, definitely wanting to see how Kucho kind of takes advantage of this, um, you know, extra credit if he can get some. Yeah, they're trying to stay away from a lot of um, Pac-Man's, I mean not Pac-Man, Piranha Plants, very scary moves. Because honestly, anything can really kill here. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like, um... I mean, I, I really do feel like that Finest Spoon is respecting the uh, Hydrant way too much. Mm -hmm. or, the, or, or the threat of the hydrant way too much, right? Because like some people get caught up in just eliminating hydrant, which is a part you do sometimes need to eliminate the hydrant, right? But I, I just I just feel like you know hyper focusing on the hydrant, mm -hmm. you know, like hyper focusing on the hydrant kind of uh, uh, loses the game plan, you know, mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, finding Pac-Man, because Pac-Man will just stand behind the hydrant anyway. So you attacking the hydra doesn't really do anything most of the time when it comes to like, you know, Pac-Man setting up the traps. Mm -hmm. Definitely also something that I, um, that I remember about this character is definitely that, um, the way that you can kind of interact with Hydrant itself, not necessarily always trying to take it out as you said, but kind of finding definite like new ways to kind of interact with it as a whole because, you know, Pac-Man is just obviously going to do his thing, but, um, just as you said not really focusing too much on it but another thing that i definitely didn't notice about kujo and their gameplay is definitely the way that they actually try to um you know hit their hydrant which is not something that i've seen definitely and 
Pow! That interaction was just God very bless. Crazy. God bless. God bless. This is what happens when you have two carnival characters on the scene. Um. <laughs> Right now, Kojo's in the lead, and um, yeah, and this is what I'm talking about, bro. But, but this is exactly what I'm talking about. Kojo ran across the screen, and pretty much shield grab a uh, shielding, a shielding uh, spoons right sitting behind the pipe. So I, I definitely do feel like he's respecting a little bit too much. But um, you know, with that being said. No, Kujo is getting momentum, and this is, and see, now look at the, now look at the clock. No, no, look at the clock right now. No, I, I don't know if, if uh, either of them realize the time right now, but um, this could easily, easily, easily go time. Yeah, honestly, very much. I, I think definitely it's going to be a little bit more of just hoping that, um, you know, Kujo can just start putting on a little bit more damage. Not very, um, becoming very aggressive, but enough to kind of just, like, make the threat of, um, time running out more possible. You know. It'll be interesting to see, like, how, you know, either one of this, um, people can actually take the game right now. Yeah, no, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see what Spoon can do. Excuse me, let's see what Spoon can do, because Pujo right now is in the lead. They're not really gonna do anything crazy approaching anytime soon. Um, I know right now Spoon is gonna try to cheat something out. We're gonna have to try to, right? There's 15 seconds left. You need to try. You need to try to cheese like right now. Like there's like there's no like you need to try it. Okay. That, that, oh, that was it. That could have been. That was it. Yeah. Oh no, that was it. Oh no. No, that lift grab was actually it. They didn't walk to their death. Well, that was interesting. That, that lift grab, if I, like that lift grab with a couple pummels, probably would have equal. Like, yeah, because like what? How much? How much percent does um, Brian Plants grab do? Uh, that I'm not entirely sure, but even in, I think. Up smash, even that would have probably taken at least close to death. But I mean, either way, yeah, that was definitely a very nice and slow game coming in from Kujo. Definitely taking that first game without a hitch. Definitely interested yeah. to see, you know, oh, sorry, what, um, uh, Kujo is definitely, or not Kujo, Finding Spoon is definitely gonna do to kind of just mix up their gameplay and kind of change what they want to do about, you know, approaching this uh, approaching this situation where it feels like you can't really get through. But yeah. Yeah, maybe try, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like there definitely has to be a change when it comes to dealing with the Hydrant. Um, but, uh, you know, besides that, uh, yeah. Oh, I, I, besides that, I feel like it's kind of it's kind of been an even game, and it's just been trying to deal with Pac-Man's options opposed to Kudo trying to deal with Piranha Plant options. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that being able to at least try and control the airspace um, for Finder Spoon would definitely help a little bit more, just because you know Pac-Man isn't always playing grounded, but definitely kind of trying to control that airspace as best as possible will definitely help him probably. Especially considering, you know, all of the things that um, Pac-Man has. Um, from what I know, their back air is actually really good. It definitely um, kind of just beats out a lot of options. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure entirely how... Um, oh, so even just kind of trying to stay close to the, um, you know, the, the air, or trying to stay in the air, to more so just like threaten that space instead of grounded. Yeah, uh, right now, yeah, right now, I, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this is gonna be like another, <laughs> another close timeout game where like, uh, <laughs> two minutes in, where you're five, 530 on the clock, no stocks taken. Mm -hmm. I think definitely. Oh, sorry, I think definitely um, 
Finding Spoon needs to be very weary of, like, you know, how, you know, Kujo's definitely gonna land on them. And wow, it's just wow. gonna take that first stock with back air. You know, definitely the one of Prana Plant's strongest moves, for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I respect it. Yeah, that back air is a great, like, out of the back airs in the game, it's probably one of the strongest. Like, easy. A demon, we call it. A demon. <laughs> yeah. And right now, uh, okay. But I, but I do have to say, right now, we we can see uh, Finest Spoons play with the loop, you know, um, and not really have to be dictated by Kujo. And that's another thing they can do, right? Like you playing with the lead against Pac-Man, right, is can go a lot easier for you, right? Because then you see Pac-Man trying to approach you, you have to chase around Pac-Man, doing all this weird stuff, right? So I feel like Finest Spoon needs to recognize that they are in the lead, whether it be big or small and really exploit that when it comes to fighting against Pac-Man. Um, okay, definitely getting this nice kind of brawling a little bit in here. Um, but I'm just gonna set up that Hydrant once again. I um, definitely like the kind of um, options Finest Spoon is definitely taking just to kind of get around Hydrant right now. Not really um, trying to interact with as much, but yeah, definitely really enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Another thing about that up air too, I mean, up B actually, sorry, I mean, too, is that it actually has very little lag. So, um, definitely good on Kujo by trying to actually punish that because if they weren't really ready for that, that would have probably been a bad, you know, time for Kujo. Oh yeah, oh my god, and Kujo! Kujo tried to uh, well, read that um with with the uh, L in the forward smash. Pac-Man's forward smash is absurdly strong. It's like, what, it's like top five. It was like top five strongest forward smash in the game or something ridiculous like that. Um, and whoa, that back air obliterated him. Oh my god. A demon. I'm telling you, it's the demon. <laughs> yeah. Right oh. now. Oh. No. That was just a mess. Oh, it's just go. Oh man, I was gonna say that Liquid Suits can't play the lead, but like Liquid Spoons have not been able to hold the lead for more, more than 30 seconds. I mean, honestly, and the time again, we're definitely could be seeing some sort of timeout if um, Kujo, Kujo can definitely hold the lead right now. Yeah, yeah, depending, depending on how the stock's going. I mean, it's, it's a, there's a lot of time on the clock, there's like two minutes, 30 seconds. Um, when a small spread stays like Yoshi's, nothing might be a little bit safe, but you never know. Um, yeah, right now, um, yeah, Kujo's just loading up right now, and Kujo needs to watch out. <laughs> that was a little spooky. Yeah, and right now, yeah, they're just they're just looking for straight hits. Any any straight hit right now. You know, Spoons is definitely trying to look for any type of straight hit to get anything started. Kujo's not giving it to him. Playing the platform game really well, and that could have been an up smash, actually. I'm surprised it was a That was definitely a blue screen moment. I definitely just noticed. I didn't actually notice that that's what they were trying to do. Um, so, um, Finest Spoon was actually using, I think it's, I'm not sure what that move is, where they, um, extend their tongue and whatnot, but they've definitely been using that to kind of, um, you know, stall their landing a little bit, which I actually think is very interesting, something new that I learned, but definitely gonna get hit by that bell and just gonna spell death for um, Finest Spoon, but definitely a really nice showing coming in, coming in from Finest Spoon. They've, um, a lot of the Piranha Plants that we had today have definitely kind of like allowed us to kind of show a lot of the information that you know people don't really know about this character you know it's just if you don't play this character then it's definitely going to be very hard to kind of like you know play them when you actually do get them in bracket and whatnot but yeah you know i've, de I've definitely seen um definitely seen enough ron plant sadly enough also um but um yeah no it's it's definitely a, a breath of fresh air a little bit to see a character like ron plant right because like Besides, like, the local scene, I'm pretty sure the only t other player that plays Bonapai Pie like that is Brood. Um, I believe Brood plays, like, main Piranha Plant still, I believe. 
But yeah, um, interesting. yeah, but you know, besides that, like you know, there's really no quantum plant representation. So, you know. but I'll find the spoons on that part on that front. But yeah, that back air is a literal demon. Insane. I don't know. Insane. That move, like, okay. I feel like, I think that move is like. Hold on, let me get the ultimate frame down. I'm pretty sure the move is like plus like 800. Uh, we're gonna look. We're gonna look up this move right now. Ultimateframe.com. Go to that website, guys. It is minus 11 on shield and comes out frame 14. But it it has it it has this deceptively kind of big hitbox that doesn't actually hit like with the the character because most hitboxes are on the character as well. But this one's actually kind of like separate from.